Hello, all my lovely, beautiful lions and lionesses. Put your paws up top for me. This is the Mystic Leo. My name is Isa, and I'm your very favorite Leo mama doing the darn thing for you today, okay? So we're gonna take a look at love, you, your person, all that good juju and everything in between and see what's up between y'all, okay? So please take what resonates for you, leave the parts that don't. If nothing resonates in your sun sign, Leo, you can check your other placements. I do have another channel and that's linked down below or you can check out my older readings, okay? Last but not least, you know, please don't forget to put your paws on top of the love button and just smash it for you girl smash it by the way it's sweater weather okay it is freezing up in here it's literally like 59 degrees or something ridiculous in my house i refuse to turn the heat on it's just how i do <laughs> <laughs> so I hope wherever you are in whatever part of your world you're keeping warm okay don't forget to smash the love button don't forget to come on back if you enjoy this reading by hitting that notification bell on the top when you subscribe okay so let's take a look at your overall energy between you and your person if you're involved all right I think I might do a little mini singles read in here too, okay? Show me what's going on, overall energy between Leo and their person right now. Show me the overall energy. Ooh, three of swords. So some of you are going through some sort of uh, breakup and or heartbreak with somebody. All right, let's see. What the hell is their problem? Because they're letting go of a Leo. Why would you do that? Why? Okay, what, what's going on with this person? Tell me what's up with this person. Okay. Oh, they think they made some sort of executive decision. Um, they're going through some change and this person quite possibly could have ended the connection. You can put yourself on either side because I'm doing two sides here, but somebody's ending it. They, um, I almost feel like things weren't changing, so they just made the change just to get it over with. Okay. All right. What else here? There could have been some truth that came out too. What else, please? Tell me more about this this person this person is more focused on their money their job quite potentially um there could even be somebody else that they're involved with because i do have a king of swords and a king of pentacles um and i feel like they just felt like it was time. There was something about the time to like move on here. For some of you, this person's involved with somebody of the same sex. It might be something that you don't know about. Um, and for others of you, you may know that they've been connected to somebody else. But there could be a, potentially another person here. Show me what else is going on with this person that Leo is dealing with. Okay. What else, please? What? Okay, so I'm getting somebody that felt like you were the one. This could be you. You might have felt like this person was the one, but you let them go for whatever reason, Leo. Okay, so take it take it how it resonates for you. Somebody is letting go of somebody and like just... It's sort of this knowing of needing to move on. Hierophant, the chariot, could have been dealing with a Taurus or a Cancer here. Um, nine of Swords, so letting go. This was not an easy decision for somebody to make here, Leo, um, because they wanted they wanted the commitment or they wanted to be in this. But something, I feel like something in your person changed or something in you changed okay all right it's just yeah it's like two different people here with the swords and the and the pentacles so i'm getting that somebody's been through some sort of change they're not the person they were when this started something happened in the relationship it could have been with you like this person had a an aha moment in their life and now they're realizing like i, I think i need to to move forward here okay and it's like a i don't know i just get like 
I just get moving forward from it, okay? There's something about a belief or a truth that they had that's changed here. This is different, okay? So bear with me. Tell me about Leo. Show me Leo. Show me Leo's feelings about this connection, please. What's Leo going? What's Leo going through? Okay. Show me Leo and their feelings. Okay, some of you feel like you took, a, you kind of gave it a shot, but you didn't trust your intuition. You were happy in the connection. You made it work. You thought that there was some sort of stability here, but yeah, okay. Could have been some unrequited love. You didn't trust your gut on this one, Leo. Seven of Wands. Um, in turn, you could have mistaken this person fighting for your love as like them wanting to be with you. I don't know. I get that for somebody. But what I'm getting here is that you... You may realize that you had your walls up here or you set boundaries. I'm going to have to clarify. Let me clarify this really quick. What's up, lady? It's not time for you to have dinner. It's not. You want to say hi to everybody? Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Are you? Say hi. <laughs> She literally went, Ram. I don't know if you heard it. Anyway, um, let me see what we got here. Let me clarify this because I'm a little confused. I don't know why this person is so dead set on like, they're good. They're just moving forward. Yeah, it was hard. This was a stressful connection for them. Let me see. Let me see. Tell me about this high priestess in reverse with this four of wands. Okay. Some of y'all lied to yourself about this person, but you are being manipulated, okay? Um... It could have been that you found out that you were being manipulated. I almost feel like Leo, like you weren't taking care of you or something in this connection. Okay, tell me about the four of wands. Tell me about the four of wands. Yeah, okay. So I'm seeing you investing and you trusting the, f the four of wands that there's like that there's like a solid connection here, that there's some sort of commitment. Maybe y'all moved in together and this person ended up moving out. Five of Pentacles. There's a lot of like abandonment here. Okay. Um, could have been that this person realizes they were abandoned. Yeah. Okay. Page of Cups. So we've got somebody who's emotionally immature here. Okay. I got somebody trying to... I got somebody blocking things for you here, Leo, like blocking things that you were trying to do. A lot of conflicts, a lot of arguments with this person. Why the Ten of Pentacles? But I feel like you kind of were hanging in there. Yeah, you, oh boy. You tried to have a new start with this person. Because you really love them. Ten of Cups and the Fool with the Ten of Pentacles. This for you was the end all be all. Why the Queen of Cups in reverse? Okay, there was some reflecting that you started doing. Something you started seeing when you spent more time alone. You found out something, okay? Something wasn't making sense to you. Okay, Leo? Something wasn't making sense here. Queen of Cups in reverse. Why was this person emotionally unavailable at times when you needed them? Okay. You're realizing that you were making this person be, to, out to be better. Look at look at what, how you were seeing this person. Oh my God. 
the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Fool. This was like the beginning you always wanted with somebody here. This was, like I said, this was like the greatest fucking thing since sliced bread, right? But uh, something happened here. There's something that they did. Either they ghosted you or they left you. They abandoned you. Something like that, okay? This person might have even taken a toll on your health for some of you. But you saw a selfishness or childlike you know, like me, 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 that this person was emotionally immature and it started getting you to think and you started realizing, oh my God, I, I did, I didn't see this person as they really are. Okay. So I feel like you're, you were looking for solutions to the answers and you found them. What's the seven of wands. It's like you went and you protected yourself right away. You were like, nope. Okay. Yeah. They're always doing things and never finishing anything. So you just, it fizzled out for you. Okay. The more that you set boundaries and you learned how to like, uh, take your power back and your energy back from the situation where somebody, it seemed there were a lot of arguments. You couldn't figure out why there were arguments because this person is selfish. They want what they want. Okay. There could have been a third party here because the overall energy was the three of swords. You started realizing, hey, um, you know, this person, we always get we always get kicked off and then something goes wrong. We start having a good three day streak and then suddenly we're in an argument again. What the hell is going on? Well, the three of swords. OK, so you started putting your guard up with this person. Now, why this person feels arrogant enough to be like, well, I walked away from Leo here, which is what it feels like. I don't know, but this person definitely had some sort of relationship. And like I said, I was feeling two characters in this story. They could have been dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus or Aquarius Libra Gemini. Let me find out why this three of swords is here though. Anyway, overall energy wise is here. Yeah, they, um, this person, You may be trying to recover from the heartbreak here, but they were ignoring the fact that they were hurting you, that they were not just hurting you, they were hurting you and another person. Some of you are still exhausted over this. It could be happening right now. Um, and you could be finding it very hard to move on or recover from this because this person hurt you so bad. Okay. Um, I get play thing. Like somebody felt like a toy, like a play thing. Like you just step out of a whole connection or whatever the fuck you're doing over here. I didn't want to come play some games with Leo. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's see what's up with this person. Why the, um, King of Swords? Yeah, this motherfucker. Don't you, you know, I just want to sucker punch people in the throat. This person knew exactly what they were doing. The devil with the king of swords. Are you fucking kidding me right now? They knew what they were doing was not cool with you. They knew morally deep down what they did, what they were doing, even if it's just that they were saying messed up things or they were using you for things that they needed and wanted because they were very selfish even if it's not a third party this person knows damn well and that's what makes me like ooh, i'm gonna get you okay why the um why the wheel of fortune why the wheel of fortune please yeah knight of pentacles two of cups in reverse what the fuck Okay, this person seemed to think that this is all just something you don't understand, right? Like maybe they were in some sort of bind in something in their life or like them moving out or walking away. You just don't get it, you know. Um this person thinks that they they were they were playing like, "Oh, I'm going to keep it a buck." knight of pentacles but two of cups in reverse so this person it's like they're still trying to stick to whatever plans that they got maybe even with you but they seem to think that um that you're misunderstanding okay well all the while this person is codependent on other people you know for money and whatever else that they can get okay so they feel like, oh, I was up front with you. I told you what the situation was. Bitch, it don't matter. If you tell me what the situation is and then you fuck and then you play games, 
Now we have a problem. Okay? Because you see this? Mind fuckery. There's no reason to be honest with somebody and then play head games. Why are you doing that? That means that you are being deceptive and you are doing things that are not cool and you know what you're doing. This person seems to have known what they were doing. So no excuses here. Why is the wheel here? Six of cup. Are you kidding me? This person thinks y'all are destined to be together. They think this is going to happen again. Are they nuts? On one hand, they act like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> on one hand, they're like, Leo can suck an egg. And then on the next hand, they're like, but we still going to be together. Are you, is this person crazy? Are they legitimately nuts? Okay, you got a Capricorn. You got Pisces out here. You've got Cancer. You've got Taurus. <laughs> This person is a nut. Okay, why the King of Pentacles? I feel like they think they, like they're, I get this huge sense of entitlement. Like I can come back to Leo whenever I want because Leo always forgives me. Like Leo always forgives me. Okay, why is the King of Pentacles here? Oh, okay. Why else? Okay. This person, this person likes to, they think very highly of themselves here, okay? Um, I feel like they want to come towards you again because they think now that maybe they have a little something that they can do things differently. But with a Nine of Cups, a King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands, you know, it feels like this person definitely wants to, like... Now that they have something, it's like wanting to come back, but I don't, there's a lot of arrogance here, okay? This person really hurt you. Oh shit, I have a seven of pentacles out in reverse. But they have no plans. They're incredibly impatient. This could be you that's impatient, but this is a person who is a procrastinator and doesn't work hard. Okay, they don't want to have to put in the work. They just think that if they come back and they look a little better or they act, you know, it's like acting as if I have something that you're just going to cave right in. Okay, why is the Hierophant here? Yeah, they're going to be... <laughs> They're going to be sorely mistaken, okay, Leo, because mm -mm. now they've exposed themselves, okay? What else with this Hierophant? Yeah, Eight of Swords, okay? So, yep, um, this person is incredibly insecure. They feel, I feel as though it's like... Like I said before, they f like they feel entitled to your energy, and even though this may not, like, nothing's happening between you two, this per I feel the, like, entitlement there, okay? Classic sabotager. This person might have sabotaged the connection they had with the second person. If they were involved with the second person, they were promising this person. They went back to them. For some of you, they went back to this person. Okay, and this person, like, they were disappointed. They invested in the wrong person. Okay, they feel as if they lost time and money and energy here on the wrong person. So, I feel like this person wants to try to um, waltz back into your life, like, with an entitlement, like, well, because you know, before. And you're just like, nope, lesson learned here, okay? You're not, you don't have the same energy for this person anymore. Your energy shifted. Tell me about the chariot. This is coming in hot. They are coming in hot. They're afraid you're going to reject them, but they're still coming in anyway. Look at that, the chariot twice. This motherfucker means business, okay? They are meaning business, what else with this chariot? Please clarify the chariot some more. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, they really want to get what they desire, okay? Um, with the star card, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, er, a Cancer or an Aquarius here, okay? Sorry, I'm a little half tired. They're really hopeful that you're going to want to move forward with them again too, okay? Nine of Swords in reverse. Why is that here? They're, they're going to tell you that they've let go of the other person and they want they want to uh, get together with you again, okay? They've lost contact with them or they're not talking to that person um, and you don't have anything to worry about now. What else? What else are they going to tell Leo? Five of Cups. They felt sad without you. And yes, they are. They regret that they messed things up in the past. What else? Uh-huh. Okay. They're going to blame the other person. They might even be like, oh, I blame myself that this was messed up. Okay. They might admit that, that they blame their self for taking, like giving somebody else a second chance. I'm telling you, for some of you, there was totally somebody else involved here. Um, They're going to tell you that the person like that they were with or they went back to and gave a second chance to uh, emotionally manipulated them and they were they were the victim here. OK, and that they were sad and they're regretting going back to that. OK, anything else, please, about that? Excuse me. Yeah, this person's going to try to tell you that, yeah, they tried to do everything for this person and this person just didn't appreciate them. Okay. It could be a Leo as well. All right. Tell me what the, tell me, I know this person's next moves, but what else are, what are these person, what is this person's intentions? Let me put it that way. What are their intentions with Leo? Show me their true intention. They just want to get you fucking hung up again. They're eventually going to put you in another third party. Okay. They see an opportunity in you here, Leo, which makes me really uncomfortable. What else? Yeah, the magician. Oh, well, Leo will fix everything. Leo will invest in me. Look, seven of pentacles, the magician. Okay. There's some manipulation tactics happening here. And this person is looking to grow they're looking to like they have a strategy for the long term but it's not for you or because of you this is their own strategic game that this playing is this person is playing a very strategic game with your feelings leo and i don't like this okay I don't like this. What's the advice going forward for Leo, please? What's the advice? King of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Get back. Recoup any money that you can get from this person. King of Wands. Be your own boss leader. What else? Five of Pentacles. Let this shit go. Okay? Let this shit go. Sure, make your peace or whatever, you know, if you feel you can be friends with this person, this you learned from this page of pentacles. This is somebody who's a student who's learning somebody, some something. This person is beyond, is like beyond lower than your level. Okay. Your advice is to abandon this altogether, recoup whatever you can or need to from them and be the leader in your own life. Just move forward. Okay, be that King of Wands energy because this person's gonna this person's gonna mess you over, okay? And if they're still in your life and this is happening, yeah, you got the sun with the Knight of Pentacles. Trust me. Somebody's coming who's gonna invest in you. Stick to your plans and you've reached a different level of enlightenment here. Do what makes you happy. This looks like unhappiness and misery to me, okay? So, like, that's your advice with it. All right, guys. Okay, let me quickly do a little singles joint up in here. That was for those of you in a connection with somebody. And for some of you, you might still be dealing with this energy, okay? You're working on letting this go. You're finding out things. You're starting to see things. 
And it's just sad because to me, it's like you really felt like this person, Leo, was like it, the it. Okay. Lady Sassy Pants. No, don't sit here and beg me. Don't give me those eyes. She wants her food like right now. And so she'll follow me through the whole house for three hours before she's supposed to eat just begging me for food. And they have like a whole thing of like crunchy food sitting out. She won't touch it. She's she's 20 years old and she's picky as hell. Right? Right? Rare. <laughs> All right, let's talk about singles really quick, please, for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. If you're not a single and you're not going to watch this, thank you so much for being here, guys. If you click off, I really, truly appreciate you. And if it did resonate for you, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay, my loves? All right, show me singles. What's their energy overall right now? Strength card, just being you. Just being yourself, okay, I like it. All right, show me what's coming for Leo. If they're single, show me what's coming. Okay, Leo, I'm seeing y'all might have been talking to somebody and or you were going to see somebody and the plans got thwarted here. Ten of Wands with the Eight of Wands in reverse, okay? Some of you might have let go of this because um, there was like the talking slowed down or the connection started getting funny here. What else, please? What else? Yeah, you kind of maybe made a final judgment call on this and said, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just leave this go because this is just too heavy. I'm trying too hard to talk to somebody here and I'm not getting communication in return. So they already suspect. I got one eye on you. Okay. What? What eye? All right. What's the challenge in this connection, please? What's the challenge in this connection? What's the challenge for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Love the connection, you know, trusting your intuition, okay? So some of you may want to continue with this, but, you know, you're having a hard time trusting your intuition, and your intuition seems to be like, meh, might be time to move on, okay? All right, what's the outcome? What's the outcome? I'm going to look at this later. I'm going to clarify a little bit of this. What's the outcome? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The outcome... Okay, what's the advice? What's the advice? Yeah, okay. All right, let's take a look at this really quick before I get into the challenge and the outcome. Wait, the, um, what did I say? The outcome and the... Oh my God, I'll, I'll think of it in a second. Anyway, potential outcome and the advice. Jesus Christ. Okay, why is the strength card here? Yeah, you are looking for love, okay, but you're looking for the right kind of love, a deep love, one that's romantic, one that's passionate. Um, you're trying to trust your intuition here. You're really uh, maybe in your feels. You might have had a lot of feelings or saw the potential in this connection with this person. What's with this eight of wands? What happened here? Why'd this person stop talking or the plans got thwarted? the lovers okay so somebody there was a deep connection here but it looks like somebody is making there's a duality in this person maybe you started seeing them being inconsistent or hearing them being inconsistent there's a lot of attraction what else here okay somebody was okay It seemed like y'all were building on something and then I feel like suddenly this person just either changed up or you started realizing that this person was very absorbed with themselves and maybe they didn't seem like they wanted to be in some sort of connection. I almost feel like like if you've met somebody here singles or you're talking to somebody this person came off like they wanted a relationship but you start seeing now that this person may not want a relationship they might have cut off communication or plans got thwarted or it's like every time you're supposed to meet up there's some circumstance that comes in the way here 
Um, why is that? Why does it, why does this keep happening? What's going on with this person? Show me, show me why this keeps happening. Why does this keep happening? Show me what's going on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. This person has a lot, a lot of fear, Leo. They're very, very scared of getting hurt. The devil with the Ten of Swords. Either they're doing the worst shit ever that you don't know about, or this person has been so betrayed that they have such deep fear about connecting there's a powerful connection between the two of you okay so either you're feeling this now with somebody or you're about to feel meet this person and go through this this person is going to be incredibly it's like playing they're playing with fire right they want it and then they don't really go for it um there and then you're starting to be like oh this person only cares about themselves they reach out when they want to talk um they want to do it how they want to do it i asked them to hang out but they don't respond or something like that okay i'm getting like this this is and i'm asking the why this is because this person had been in a relationship and this is they got hurt okay what's this ten of wands what's this ten of wands for leo you're thinking about walking away from this uh, because you feel like this person isn't seeing you. They're taking you for granted here. Okay. You're reevaluating this. Like, is this worth my time and energy? What else, please, for Leo? What else are they thinking? Yeah, Nine of Wands. Should I do this? Is this going to be another predicament that I'm in where, you know somebody's going through something or it starts out weird and I give it a chance and then it fucks up or it gets messed up. You're thinking this person could be damaged goods. Okay. Some of you are thinking this person's damaged goods. What's the judgment? <sighs> Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are deciding you're just going to do you and focus on yourself, your money, taking care of yourself. Okay. Um, you are feeling stuck though. You're trying to be neutral about it with the two of swords. You know, you're thinking about it. You're conflicted about whether or not you would give this a second chance if this person was to reach out with you, but you want to see tangible results here. Okay. Like you're just in a dating phase and already this person's being weird, but I'm telling you why they're being weird. This person was really hurt. I'm going to ask more about that. Okay. I'm going to ask more. Show me more about this person and what they went through with the devil and the ten of swords. Show me more. Thank you. That was really fast. Nine of pentacles. Um, this person does enjoy their freedom and being single very, very much. They're just sort of investing in themselves. But show me what happened that they got hurt. Show me what happened. Death and rebirth. There was an ending here with somebody. Something changed in a connection they were in. There could have been a pregnancy, but they might have been even been married to somebody, an empress. Uh, we have Capricorn, Scorpio, and Libra here. Okay. Um, there could have been, the relationship got stagnant and stopped growing. What else? Okay, wow, a lot of majors. This was huge for this person. Okay, there was an ending. Somebody had a secret. What was the secret that the person was keeping, please? What was their person keeping a secret about? Okay, they didn't have the same kind of feelings for them anymore. Ace of Wands. Um, they didn't see this for the future. What else, please? What was the secret this person was keeping? Oh, shit. They were for the streets. Somebody might have had a mistress or... Um, they were cheating, okay? They're potentially because the Queen of Wands coming up with this person not having the same vibration for the person that you're talking to. Your your person just went through it, okay? This person was in a commitment. They live with somebody quite possibly. They may have had children with them, the Empress. Um things were not growing between these people. This person cut them off emotionally somehow and they were hiding the fact that they didn't that they didn't feel the same. Um, they were talking to somebody else. What else do we need to know about what this person went through? Yeah, okay. 
Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Okay, so I feel like the person that you're talking to, they tried to offer them like maybe we should get married or whatever. And this person, Ten of Cups in reverse, was not having it with this person. They didn't, I don't think, I think that they were very unhappy in their own self. They weren't happy in this connection with your person. Um, and that could be for a lot of reasons that are between them, or it could be this person's own personal reasons. But this, whoever you're talking to here, or you're about to meet, this person has been through a very hard heartbreak. There is a lot of major cards here. This really did this person in. So I know, Leo, you're thinking a lot of things about why this person has like a stop and go or why they say things, but they don't do something. But this is really why, okay? This is really why. Okay, let's see. Potential outcome, two of wands, five of cups. You're regretting making a decision here. Potential outcome... Clarify the two of wands. Okay, you're trying to suppress an impulse here of making a rash decision. Uh, temperance in reverse. This person is wishy-washy. So the potential outcome is that they still are kind of wishy-washy, right? Um, but that's because this person has a lot of feelings for you that they probably can't understand why they have them with the lover's card. Okay, and the Knight of Cups. So, okay, why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? Potential outcome is that this is going to happen again. You guys will, I feel like you'll get back. This person is not going to want to separate from you or maybe nor you from them. Okay, they might continue to be a little bit wishy-washy until they feel safe and they make up their mind. They're clinging to the past really hard and they may not know that. They may not like that might not be in their conscious awareness, but it's almost like this person got so traumatized by what happened with their person. They thought they were, that was there forever. You know, they thought it because here they they offered them, you know, but Ten of Cups in reverse. It wasn't the dream for them died. OK, why is the Queen of Cups the challenge? There's a lot of psychic energy between the two of you. Seven of Cups. Um, you might feel like this is unrealistic. Like, I don't know. Uh, the Hermit. You're doing some soul searching. Okay. So. If this is your person's energy, they analyze a lot. They, they're thinking about a lot of different things. They're. They want a lot of things, but if this is like your challenge, this is really checking to see like getting the information, although it's confusing, trusting your heart and getting the information before you make um, decisions about this. Okay. You might seek friends for guidance. I don't know. It seems like it's weird, but there's a reason why this person is behaving this way okay so we saw this as the potential outcome the advice four of swords give it time page of wands okay so um you know do things that you need to do um keep the keep the connection between the two of you talk with this person uh, Four of Swords, I feel like this is just give it some time, okay? Learn to be patient here in this connection. Why the Four of Swords? There's a lot of things that you are unclear, okay? So if you want to get clear, they're going to take time. The Ace of Swords in reverse, okay? It's a bad idea for you to just cut this person off uh, or overanalyze this situation. Page of Wands. Yeah, this potentially is a very good connection here, guys. Okay, like I feel like this is really saying give it a chance. Allow the emotional, allow the spark that happened between the two of you to grow. Give this person some time. They need to know that they can trust you and they feel very, very stuck. 
okay and this is the kind of person that they get far in their head so when they don't know what to do they just disconnect they have an unhealthy way of dealing with things because they have those fears because somebody hurt them so bad whether they're male or female okay you take it as it resonates for you your advice really is to not overthink this like do the things that you need to do communicate with them here and there don't push for anything allow yourself to be a space right and i feel like this person will open up and and like come around okay what else tell me what else tell me what else for the singles Yeah, look at overthinking, replaying events in their head. Okay. What else? Wedding rings, and it was in reverse. These people may have been planning, like when we're talking about what happened with this person, they may have been planning to marry that person and their world got rocked because their person was somebody was with somebody else or something like that. Okay, anything else about this connection with this person? The snake, yep, competition, enemy, clever, look over your shoulder, the other woman. There was somebody else in this connection with them, okay? So they may have been cheated on and it was just devastating for them, all right? And, um, you know, if they had kids or a family and they made this person the world, this turned their whole life upside down. It turned their family upside down. It ruined their thought of, like, what marriage and family and all of that should be, okay? So really huge for this person. All right, guys, um, that's what I got for you, my loves. If this did resonate for you, please make sure you smash the love button for your girl. Please don't forget to comment uh, down below. Say hi to me. What's up? And don't forget to subscribe and come on back. All right, guys. Love you. Bye.